There's a quick video here on some modifications that I've done to the FlySky FSI6X. Um, there's a lot of these online and I've stolen a lot of them, um, but there's one that I've done that I, nobody else has done, and so I thought I'd share it. Um, one of the first things I've done is put these indicators on the VR switches that allows you to feel where the flaps are going or the spoilers are without having to look down at your um, controller. So that's very useful. So you can do that blindfold. Um, another thing that a lot of people do is replace this switch with a three-way. I've done that also. And so we have three-way on this side and a three-way on that side. I've just turned up a little brass extension there so it matches this one. Um, and we can see how those work. So channel seven is my A switch. Channel 8 is B switch, and you can see that's now a three way. Channel C is a three way, and channel 10, uh, channel 9, sorry, switch C, and channel 10 is a two way. Um, and so that works quite well. And the VRs are on channel 5 and channel 6 for this particular model. Um, the main change that I've done is I've added this momentary, momentary switch. Now, a bunch of people have done that, but they've done it at the cost of one of their switches. Now, you can see here under channel seven that my switch A is working perfectly normally, but I also have the ability to do it momentarily as well. So if it is in um, active mode, that switch does absolutely nothing. And if it's not, then it activates it momentarily. This is excellent if you want to use trainer mode. Um, You can see that trainer mode, if you want to do, you can use a switch, but that's obviously quite difficult because when you're flying and you've got your thumbs here, you don't really want to have your thumb up there ready to flick it up and then have to jump down to the controls. Um, this way you allow, you can have a momentary switch uh, making it active. As you can see there, you can have everything on your controls ready to take over just by letting go. And I think that's rather useful. Um, so how did I do it? Um, I've used a um, micro switch the micro switch in there looks very similar to this one um, micro switches all have micro switches all have written on them uh, that they've got a common that's that one then have no which is normally open and normally closed that means that normal position which is when it's you know just at rest then you've got one contact which is going to be normally open. That's this contact is not um, connected to this one, and this one which is normally closed, which means this one is connected to that one. When you press it, two things happen. One, the normally closed contact, that's the outer two, breaks, and the normally open one connects, and that's rather useful for what we want to do if, um, do here. So it's good to get a micro switch. You can find them in all sorts of devices. I've got a whole drawer full. Um, what does it actually do? This is what your original switch does. Your original A switch, you have um, master when it's up, slave when it's down. All we're going to do is um, add the new push switch here. Now the push switch, um, this is the common. That's actually, I've drawn that twice because it just makes it easier to understand. And this is it normally closed. So normally this plate is across there and it connects that. And so my switch works normally. It would either come in this route and go to master, or it would come in this route and go to slave. That means you can still use your A switch as a switch for other models. But if you were to push it, then that plate drops down to here, and that does two things. It breaks this contact, which is good, because you don't want power to be able to go to the master and to the slave at the same time. That would cause a short, and that would be bad. Um, so it breaks that and then makes this, in which case it goes straight to the slave until you let go and it pops back up to master. What does that look like inside? Um, I've also converted mine to um, lithium batteries. I just use one of these cheap AliExpress um, battery packs, um, power packs, and I use the module that you find inside those um, in order to Convert the voltage, and I left the LEDs on, which is why mine's still there. But that's the little module there, um, 
and that converts it over to 5 volts from the 4.2 or 3.7 depending on how charged your batteries are. Um, so what does it actually look like inside here? Here's the micro switch um, and you can see that's the common just tucked in under here. This one is the um, normally open and this is normally closed. So I've unsoldered this green wire from the, the normal switch, the A switch, and I've run it and instead my mine now goes directly to oh, I can't really show you because I've, I've glued it all in but it's that one there and it goes straight into the common then I come out of the normally closed and go back in to where that green wire was that's the air um, then um, I've come out of the normally open that's this white one and I've doubled it back onto the air that way, that top one. So I've used white and green to match, and that's it. And that's the that's all of the wiring. It's pretty simple. Cool. So I hope that helps somebody. Um, I think it's quite a neat feature to be able to have both. Uh, one thing you do want to make sure is that you turn off the trainer function when you're normally flying, because that momentary switch obviously is quite easy to hit. Um, when you're flying, especially if you want to go up here and start adjusting your, your flaps, that's quite easy to hit. So I would <laughs> recommend definitely not having um, your box in trainer mode. Um, and just in case that's not obvious to you what I'm talking about there. You can turn trainer mode off here. Um, make sure you hold and press and hold cancel. Um, then if we have a look at um, channel 7 which is that normal one that switch still works it's still working as the um, A switch does but as you can see here oops if you can see here when I press it it doesn't disable all my controls which is what it would do if it was on trainer mode um, so if it was on trainer mode And I have some um, I have some inputs on like this. For example, as soon as I press it, they're killed. Channel three is still over there because I haven't actually got the cable connected. But you can see that kills it in um, when I've got it in trainer mode, and that's what you don't want if you're not actually flying with a buddy. Cool. I hope that helps someone. See ya.